Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have a tutorial that involves Divi and my favorite hosting company, SiteGround. So in Divi, you may know that there's a support center and you'll see that there's these dots and they're um, either green or red. And just FYI, if you're using SiteGround, you can get all of those green. Um, that's because SiteGround is really good hosting and that's what you need for Divi. Um, we'll get into that more later. But there's one setting that is red by default when you're using SiteGround and we need to make that green and it's really easy. And that's the display errors. So it says um, display errors one and, and you may be like, well, what, did, what even is that? And why is it there? How do I get rid of that? I'm gonna show you how, so let's get started. So I'm gonna log in here to my site and show you what I mean. So down here under Divi, there is this tab called Support Center. And when you go here at the top, it gives you a list of anything and it's gonna give you these red, or if you click on this, you can see the green dots here. So basically, Divi is giving a certain recommendation for these things here. So this is based on your hosting server, okay? So your hosting account, if it's red, there's some issue or there's something that needs to be improved in order to meet the recommendation. Now it's not to say that Divi won't work, but if you have anything red here, uh, especially some of these, you know, especially like the PHP version, you know, the memory limit and max execution time and all this stuff, you're going to have problems and you're going to have the spinning wheel of death and you're going to have all that stuff. So anyway, with SiteGround, you can actually right out of the box, you achieve this right here. This is with SiteGround hosting right out of the box. You get all green except that one. And it's kind of like, mm, if I could just get that, then I'd be happy, right? So how in the world do you get this green? So if we click on this, we start here and we say, okay, this display errors. This setting determines whether or not errors should be printed as part of the page output. This is a feature to support your site's development and should never be used on production sites. You can edit this setting within your php.ini file or by contacting your host for assistance. So if you were to click on here, the php.ini file, here you can see that there's some information about it. And again, it's saying this is a feature to support your development, it should never be used on production systems. So in other words, as you're building your site and depending on if, you know, if you're a developer and want to know display errors, but if, if you're like me, you probably just want it off because you're not using it. Okay, so let's go over to our SiteGround account. Now here I'm gonna to go to this website. So here I was on my personal website, nelsonleemiller.com. Remember we have this one red thing here. So let's go into the SiteGround account. And if you're on the new site tools, which are extremely awesome, click here. You know, the SiteGround recently moved everything to the Google Cloud for their hosting accounts. It's incredible. Uh, so let's go in here and then you'll see these tabs on the left-hand side. Go down here to the very bottom to devs. All right, it's probably one that you're not gonna use very much, but go in here and then click on PHP Manager. All right, then you get a couple new things. Here it's saying the PHP version, but we wanna click on PHP Variables. All right, and here are the variables. Now, if you wanna look for display errors, okay? So right now I don't see it, so you click on Load More. And here's, remember some of those things that we talked about max input time, memory limit. So here's um, display error, display startup errors, display errors, there we go, and it's turned on. So once we locate this, you know, we're well on our way to solving this. So go in here and click on change value, and then you get this box. And all you have to do is change this to no, and click confirm. Okay, we get a nice little success message, and then here it's saying display errors off. Great, now just let's go check. Let's go check our site. Refresh here. Look at that, congratulations. All system checks have passed. Your hosting configuration is compatible with Divi. And again, this is with SiteGround right out of the box. Go ahead and click our affiliate link if you do not have SiteGround hosting and you want to achieve 
all green dots and you want to have hosting that actually works really, really well with Divi. I use it for almost all of my sites. I'll also mention if you're having any other issues with Divi, then check out our tutorial on how to fix issues and problems with Divi. It's kind of a complete guide. It has something there that's going to solve almost everything. In fact, maybe everything. Um, it talks about um, clearing your cache, enabling safe mode, updating your PHP, using a better hosting provider like SiteGround or Cloudways, and then you know checking the system status, rollback feature, how to contact support, all that type of stuff. So go check that out, and that's going to be really helpful. Kind of go along with some of this stuff here. Again, if you're having any other issues, um, I guarantee you that the first place you should check is well your cache, but your hosting account. And yeah, go ahead and like I said, if you don't have a hosting account that's playing well with Divi, then go check out one of those links and that we have in the description and over on the blog post. All right, so that's how you remove the display errors in the Divi Support Center. Get all the green lights when you're using SiteGround hosting. So don't forget, if you're using some other hosting company and you're not getting these green dots, just, just so you know, you can get them with SiteGround. Um, our affiliate link's in the blog post if you want to click on that and um, buy us some pizza with that. You know, I mean, you don't pay for it. SiteGround pays us, so um, you don't lose anything. But if that's what you want to do, that would be awesome. Um, anyway, keep watching. We have a ton of tutorials coming up related to Divi, so we'll see you in the next video.